Well, you still don't qualify for financial aid. Why don't you try student placement? But those jobs pay only five or six dollars an hour, and I make three times as much at the bar, but I can't pay the tuition unless I work more hours, and I can't do that because I have to travel back home. Look, what can I tell you? Not everybody who's accepted can actually attend this school. Why don't you try to get yourself emancipated? Okay, thank you. Where are your parents' tax returns? Um, I, I don't have them. Well, how can you prove that they're not claiming you as an exemption? Well, they kind of are, but if I get emancipated and I get financial aid, then I'm sure they'll stop. All right, who's your attorney? What, attorney against my parents? Are you sick? Are you sick? Are you saying that it's uncontested? Yeah. Then you're gonna need W-2s, rent stubs, proof of residence, power and water bills. I don't have a residence. Well, you can't get emancipated to live on the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can't apply for work study unless I get emancipated. Then you're gonna have to get an apartment. But all my money goes to tuition. Then you'll just have to make more money. You'll think we did something bad. What? Dude, it's only water. Let it dry, man. Yeah. Guys! Noah, Noah, what are you eating? Come on. No! No, what? Uh, <laughs> hey! Hey! We have to resolve this Paul issue. That guy's totally weak. We gave it our best shot. I say we get rid of him. Yeah. I mean, and look at him, and look at us. I mean, the guy can't possibly feel like he belongs. Right, I mean, if he was with his own kind, he'd feel more comfortable and better about himself. It would be best all around. Well, I mean, I try to get along with everybody, but that guy's got no personality. And he reflects poorly on us with the ladies. Mm -hmm. Would you happen to take student meal vouchers? No. Okay, Paul, apparently you've caused some problems for your roommates, so let's see if I can't resolve the situation. Now, what are your complaints with Paul? Well, it's not that I don't like Paul as a person. He's a very fun-loving guy. But uh, we've sort of divided up our chores for the week, and he's always too busy or has some excuse, and we wind up doing his. How much you know? He says derogatory things about uh, other ethnic groups. And even though I believe in freedom of speech, you know, it's like, you know, the way smoke is air pollution, I feel that racial slurs are a form of hearing pollution. Yeah, and look, I don't want to sound girly about any of this, but I think that all of us have taken an exception to Paul's personal hygiene. Yeah. How about Paul makes more of an effort? We'll meet again after a grace period and see how it's going. You know, I don't know if I could do that. I love making racial slurs, and I hate doing chores, and Sindor plumbing is just way too confusing for me, so, hey, that's who I am, and if they can't deal with it, then I'd rather live alone. Okay. I'll file this with housing and see if we can't get you moved, but uh, in the meantime, better start packing. Thank mm -hmm. you. 